This is Sophie. Yep. And tell us a bit about Sophie. Uh, well, Sophie came in as a stray, came into the pound. She's done her seven days. Um, and she's now in foster with me. She's at my house. And we're a little bit concerned because we initially said she was quite skinny, but she seems to have a bit of a belly. So we're and a little bit concerned. What are you well, thinking? Well, we're hoping that it might just be she's had too much food, but you never know whether it could be a pregnancy. Okay. So, uh, what we are going to attempt to do here, live in the clinic, is to do some pregnancy diagnosis. So we don't know whether um, Sophie is or is not pregnant, um, so we're going to have a look and try and find out, um, and hopefully we'll give you some... I don't know if it, would it be good news or bad news? I'm not news? sure, really. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not so sure. The, we I don't mean, want to encourage the population, we really. We don't, but naturally, I mean, you can't help but think it's good news when a dog's pregnant. Yeah. So, um, you know, she, she, She's it's a hard to girl. say looking at her, but anyway. Um, we're going to ask my glamorous assistant, Claire, to come in um, and hold her. Um, so let's first of all I'll have a bit of a feel and you can actually see quite quite easily there that she's got quite big nipples um, and that could just be because she's had litters in the past some dogs just do have big nipples um, so that that's possibly an indication that she's pregnant um, and then I'll just have a quick feel of her tummy and you can only really feel a pregnancy from sort of four or five weeks at most but actually I can definitely feel something in there and I can feel something quite big um, which is making me think actually she, she could well be pregnant. Um, but the proof, uh, to really prove that she's pregnant, or not, we need to get some technological help and we've got our ultrasound scanner. Um, so we will just have a look with that. Jez, would you mind passing me the, um, the white bottle there? So, thank you, glamorous assistant number two. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this ultrasound scanner to have a look in her abdomen there, um, see what we can see. So, you ready for this, Sophie? Okay, right, let's have a look. Okay. Right, that is looking pretty good, Jesse. Um, what you can see at the top there is, if I freeze that, so just freezing that image, you can see. I mean, the telltale sign of a pregnancy is having black, which is fluid, um, with things floating around in it, uh, sort of at a very simple level. And we can see we've got two separate areas here. Well, one potentially here with black fluid, um, and another one at the top. And if we just unfreeze that, we can hopefully get a bit more detail there. That's looking better. Look at that. So at the top there, what we've got is this is going taking a slice through the rib cage of a puppy. So you've got the end, you've got side on ribs here, that's the heart in there. Um, so we've definitely got at least one puppy, there's another one down here. Um, and they're looking pretty pretty decent sized puppies. I mean they are going to be quite close to term I think. Um, so I think we're going to have a new arrival pretty soon. I'll see if I can get us a heartbeat to make absolutely sure. It's always hard to know exactly how many puppies you have because there's so many bits of puppy floating around but I would say we've definitely got multiple puppies here. We should have a heart there's a heart. Did someone see that? There look. Do you see that? See that beating bit? Can we have a finger, a stunt finger? There we are. That is beating heart of our puppy. Thank you Jez. Um, that's puppy number one at the top. Down below we've got puppy number two. I'm gonna get a heartbeat on that. Uh, what else have we got? Some limbs there, there's a bit of a leg. A bit of bone there in the leg, a white bit going across there. So, oh. um, so congratulations, Jesse. Um, oh, yeah. I'm very <laughs> pleased to say that Sophie is most definitely pregnant. Thank you very much, Claire. Um, okay. And I would say she is probably um, quite advanced in her pregnancy, and you know we we could be um, looking at some puppies within the next week or two. Um, Righty. It's it's hard to know it's exactly just from that quick look, but certainly you know she's in the last third of pregnancy, um, and we're going to get some 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 puppies soon. And just from feeling, I would be thinking along the lines of perhaps four or five puppies, something like that, oh. between three and five. But you know it's, it's it is quite hard to tell. Um, so um, that's fantastic news. Um, what what's going to what's going to actually happen? Well, she'll with stay Sophie. with me okay. while she has her puppies and until they're ready to go, really. Okay, so and so she'll have the puppies, you'll sort of look after them, get them vaccinated and so on, and then, okay, then you're going to have four or five more dogs to find yeah. homes for. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, quite a lot of people like dogs this sort of size, and as you can see, she's really quiet. 
really calm. So, I mean, she'd be a really good dog for anybody, really. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think we'll have a problem um, finding homes, definitely. Right, so. brilliant. Lovely. Well, um, that's, a, that's, a, that's a great sort of outcome for the end of the show. I mean, it's been a fantastic show. Thanks ever so much to Sarah um, for coming along. And thanks, Jesse, for popping that's in um, with Sophie. And, you know, uh, it was lovely to be able to give you that um, exciting news live Maybe on the show. Maybe we can keep them updated as well. Yeah, we'll definitely. We'll keep, yeah, it'd be great. When and, um, yeah, when, when the puppies come, then we would love to see them on oh, here. We'll Absolutely. Yeah, everyone here loves, loves a good puppy. Maybe we can puppy. have a name the puppy competition or something. I, you're coming up with fantastic know, ideas. Right. Name the puppy. <laughs> what, a, what a great idea. Maybe somehow we can raise some funds for um, Twin and Easy Dogs or at least you know get pe more people knowing about you so we can find more homes for these puppies so but we definitely look forward to seeing them when they arrive so um thank you very much